Uh, this is Alpha, and this is my five-minute morning show. Sorry I wasn't here yesterday. Uh, last minute I got a call that was finally confirmed that I was to do a commercial. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is it was a, uh, I was just an extra. Yeah, the good news is um, it was a national commercial, though, for McDonald's. The bad news is it's only going to be seen in Japan, so I could be a big star in Japan. It's like Godzilla. Woo! All right, let's start the clock. Five-minute morning show. Oh, uh, here's something to expand the brain for you just a little bit. 48% uh, of Americans who do this do it after they go to bed. What do you think they're doing? We'll have the answer for you in a little less than five minutes. Right now, I want to talk about uh, what's going on in the world. The president sure has been busy the last few days. Huh? And since he signed his health care bill, boy, he's just stepping out there. He's getting bold all of a sudden. Uh, signed an offshore drilling thing. We'll talk about that in a minute. But he also signed this agreement with Russia that uh, we would limit our nuclear weapons. Of course, they got a bunch. We got a bunch. They want to cut in half the number that both have. The thing that bothers me about these kind of agreements is who's going to be the honest one here? I mean, who do you trust? I mean, they say there's ways of verifying, but we were verifying all along that Iran wasn't producing nuclear weapons too, right? Wink, wink. Now look what they're doing. In signing the deal, Obama says his not-too-distant goal is to have a nuclear-free world. You see, that's all nice and flowery and kissy and everything, but, I mean, you think it works in practical terms? I mean, really? Let's see who's got nuclear weapons. We've got them, of course. Russia's got them. China's got them. Pakistan has them. India has them. North Korea has them. And I suppose South Korea does. I don't know about Japan for sure. Israel's got them. They won't admit it, but they do. And uh, Iran will have some pretty soon. So you think everybody's going to get rid of all their nuclear weapons? I mean, it's like the cowboy movies where, you know, the, the bad guy always has a derringer hidden in his boot. And, ha -ha! and if, if you're the only one on the street with a weapon, aren't you kind of the bad guy? I mean, don't you make the rules? And there are people who say, well, the United States can't be the world's policeman. Really? Why not? Uh, who would you nominate for the job. I mean, would you rather have Russia be the world's policeman? Would you rather have China be the one to come to the rescue whenever freedom needs to be protected? Uh, how about Iran? You want them to do it? Because they'll certainly use weapons, especially on Israel. So I'm not sure that's the kind of agreement that we want to really get into. But, you know, like I said, it's all nice and kissy and everything. Okay, now the drilling thing. Republicans have been pushing drilling offshore for years now. You know, drill now, drill here, drill now, that sort of thing. And because we are so dependent on foreign oil, why not tap on some of our natural, our own natural resources? So Obama has reversed what he has uh, campaigned for and said, we're going to open up areas on the East Coast and the Gulf of Mexico to drill for oil. I mean, we might as well do it. Russia and China is already drilling some of our oil down there. They're not doing anything for the West Coast, though, because those West Coast environmentalists they want to make sure they protect their coastline and their seals. So they're not going to give up anything. Now, oh, Alaska, too. I mean, we got some drilling in Alaska. But something tells me there's a yeah, but in there. I mean, uh, uh, maybe he's holding out for an agreement for cap and trade. You know what cap and trade is? That's where people can pollute. Well, companies can pollute all they want, but they buy back carbon credits. And they buy those carbon credits from people like Al Gore and General Electric, who were big supporters of the, uh, the Obama administration. So I don't know, you know, I want to get in that uh, carbon selling business. I mean, buy them for me, I'll go plant a tree, you know, I'll do something. I just don't think that's a, a great deal. So I, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop on that. And I'm waiting for somebody to step up and, and just kind of take charge. I mean, the, the Obama administration has appointed so many czars. They got a czar of everything. I'd like to suggest we have a czar of shut up. Because there's so many people that you just need to say, shut up. Did you see this story about a woman in, uh, in Texas? She goes to Trinity University. I think it's a university. It might just be a college. I don't know. But it was founded by the Presbyterians in 1850-something. So it's been a Presbyterian school all these years. And now she's about to graduate. And she says, I don't want to have the word our Lord on my diploma. Because it says, graduated this day, the year of our Lord. She says, I don't want the diploma hanging in my office and my friends and co-workers to see it because they'll think that then I worship Jesus. Wait a minute. Did you not know that they put the year of our Lord on the diplomas when you enrolled in the college? You did? 
then shut up. You don't want it on your diploma? Here, I got a magic marker. Give it to me. There! It's not on your diploma anymore. It's like people who move in next to an airport and then complain about the noise. Shut up! I want to be the czar of shut up. And then there, this happened actually in Ohio, and a politician actually suggested, well, why don't we buy those houses and sell them uh, at a discount to deaf people so they can live by the airport? They won't complain. And everybody said, oh, how insensitive. If I were the czar of shut up, I'd go, shut up. It's a good idea. Besides, the deaf people didn't hear it anyway. Leave them alone. Okay, I'm running out of time here. In fact, I'm just about out of time. So, uh, the, uh, the brain expander was 48% of people who do this, do it after they go to bed, check their Facebook and Twitter accounts. And after we found out that uh, in England, Twitter or Facebook is the reason for the rise in syphilis, apparently they're checking it before they go to bed, too. That's it. It's Holy Week. We'll be headed up to Easter here very soon. Easter Bunny's coming your way. That's my five-minute morning show. I'm Alpha Trivet. We will see you next time.